Hi guys, this one will be about uh, getting the first look on uh, twin AIMA A70 monos uh, that I purchased uh, about a month ago. Uh, they finally got here, uh, they went for Berlin, I'll be doing the full review soon when I, time the, when I find the time to do a proper listening session. Uh, they are current, they are sold, they are being sold with uh, power supplies, with new type of GAN power supplies and uh, these are supposed to be outputting 20, 48 volts uh, and with uh, 5 amps, so 240 watts each. Uh, the specification says that uh, it's uh, maximum 300 watts per channel amplifier but the power supply is 240 so with those power supplies it won't it will never reach uh, 240 watt, watts because uh, i think the efficiency of uh, class d amplifiers like this is like is in a 90 percent range so anyway um, the cost uh, it's 150 dollars uh, per one so it should be like 300 dollars for both of them, uh, but if you'll be using coupons like I always do because I'm a poor cheap guy, uh, you can get both of them, including power supplies, uh, for something that's closer to $250 if you're buying uh, a pair uh, in the same store. Uh, by the way, I, I will link the store I got this from uh, in the description. I think it was the um, original uh, AIMA store on AliExpress. So, anyway. Uh, why do I uh, review them? Uh, this question comes in the comments uh, here and there and uh, the answer is that I strongly believe that the Class D amplifiers are a future of high-end audio. Uh, why? They are power efficient. Uh, they are very fast, they are very detailed. They do need that analog uh, polishing touch, but uh, this technology is developing very rapidly and uh, if you recall about three years ago uh, we've seen some first class d amplifiers uh, and the change in the sound quality during these three years was tremendous uh, these are very small they use little energy they sound very good and they sound better and better every year so this is the area that we are seeing uh, some very nice developments and that's why I want to review them, that's why I want to buy them, that's why I want to test them. Uh, I have a couple of places in my house that I could really use something with small footprint. One of them is my working desk, over there, never mind the mess. And there are a couple of others downstairs. So anyway, first look. So let's take a look on the outside and then we'll take a look inside. On the outside, we have uh, we have uh, two knobs, one for subwoofer frequency set setup, and the second one for regular volume setup. Uh, we can switch the device off, or we can leave it in auto mode. Auto mode means that it will use 12 volts trigger uh, input port that we have in the back, and we can choose between input via FCAs and uh, balanced XLR connections. Uh, on the bottom, uh, we can choose if the amplifier will be working as a full range amplifier or if it will be subwoofer amplifier. Why subwoofer? Because you can get three of these, stack them together and use them in your home theater setup. And it's a very good idea because they sound better than like 99% of um, audio video receivers on the market. Okay, so venting holes on the sides, nothing interesting on the top and the back. On the back we have XLR input, this actually uh, accepts two types of connectors, uh, TRS jack, uh, big TRS jack and XLR, uh, regular XLR connector. Uh, we can um, switch um, <laughs> That's not exactly what I wanted to say. Uh, we can choose to amplify the RCA single-ended uh, input uh, signal by 6 dBA using the switch. 
uh, here we have a subwoofer output and the thing is that this is for active subwoofer and it's working uh, when the upper, when the amplifier is set to full frequency range uh, we can set the cutoff frequency for a subwoofer as we can see we have 12 volts trigger and we have speaker out uh, if this one would be used as a, a subwoofer amplifier uh, we would be connecting passive subwoofer to the speaker taps and of course 24 up to 48 volts power uh, socket so it's small but it's quite heavy it's not light let's take a look inside what do you need to do to open one up uh, you need to unscrew these two uh, hex screws on the bottom that are keeping heat sink in place and you need to remove these four screws in the corners two here and two here and then you need to remove the knobs you are removing the knobs by just pulling them out and you'll additionally have to unscrew the hex nut that's over here this one has already been disassembled so i'll just remove the knobs and then we can take it apart so <clears throat> the chassis the chassis is quite nice it's like two millimeters thick so it's it's okay it's really really good but now the interesting part what can we find inside inside we can find two rubicons uh, 3300 microfarad siege so you'll have 6600 6, microfarads per channel of capacitor uh, we can see some german uh, vima uh, foil capacitors the red ones here let's try to get focus yeah one microfarad here uh, we can see some coils here uh, we can see that we are able to replace operational amplifier with something else the stock one is ne 5532FP. Uh, it's made by Texas Instruments. So, this is basically the operational amplifier that can be found in every um, cheap uh, audio equipment. Uh, it's always advisable to replace that uh, with something that sounds better and has a sonic signature that you will like. Uh, the capacitors, the gold ones, are Nishikons. Here, here here and here uh, we have some relay here uh, yeah and we have bank of capacitors here what are these let's try to find the brand name don't know how about you yeah who becomes it's here the small black black ones all of these actually all this bank and these four are rubicons which is also nice so basically what we can see here is that it's using uh, some nice quality components maybe the volume pots are not exactly the best quality but they get the job done uh, the board the board says it's version one of the board and what's interesting here is the date it's dated for August, so it basically means that it's very fresh. Uh, on the side note, I always wonder uh, if uh, some other reviewers are getting the equipment earlier uh, directly from the manufacturer, because I had to wait uh, for like a month after regular purchase. And then two weeks of burning, and then uh, we need to find some time for a listening session. So, what's at the bottom? Uh, we have a very big, very large heatsink that's touching uh, the actual TPA chip. No, we won't be able to see that uh, underneath there. And the other side of the heatsink, uh, it's touching the chassis. So the whole chassis works uh, as a heatsink uh, for amplifier. And the PCB, the PCB has some marks it wasn't flashed properly it's not something that uh, will cause any problems 
uh, but it's not very aesthetic. On the other hand, on the weird nerds like me are opening this up and watching at the beauty of the PCB um, on the on the uh, lower side of the PCB. So, all in all, it's a small device. I like the quality of the components used here. Uh, take note that the capacitors are rated for 63 uh, uh, volts. It's important because the maximum uh, input voltage here is 48 volts. Uh, so there is some um, security range, let's say, uh, for the voltage uh, on the capacitors. Uh, some of these amplifiers, some of D-class amplifiers are using uh, 50 volts rated capacitors and that's dangerously close to 48 uh, volts of input power. This one is using 63 volts and that's perfectly fine. Yep. And that's it. I think that's it. We have to start two slides. One for powering on and off and the second one for choosing the input, I think. And yes. So, very simple, very small build. Uh, it has a very small footprint. It takes little space on your desk. Now, the most important question is how does it sound? And I'll answer that uh, in my full video review uh, when I'll have a chance to spend a few hours with uh, both of them connected to my speakers and take notes. Yes, you can see the microphone here. The idea is that maybe, maybe I'll be able to finally record some of these. I'm still experimenting with the quality though. Okay, so see you around. If I haven't uh, told something important, uh, if you have something uh, that you've noticed here, uh, or if you'd wanted to ask about anything, just give me a shout in the comments. And stay tuned for full uh, review uh, of sound quality uh, coming to my channel soon. I hope you'll have a great day ahead of you and bye guys.